What's up guys? Welcome back to the Crooked Mine. So, uh, where were we actually? Yeah, we're about to get those fucking codes or whatever. Whatever. I checked out the, the thing, the code to Ray Twain. Uh, and we found this shit. Let's, no, not. Yo, yeah, this shit. Uh, with math books and stuff like that, and it's a binary code You know you remember those things on the desk downstairs with the Fucking the threads or whatever it said like 101 or whatever so that's supposed to be a binary code uh, And it is two five one five I believe yes it contained the key to the ref Reference room, reference room. Yeah, so that's the uh, That's that I guess <laughs> I, I didn't figure it out myself. So uh, Reference room where the fuck is that? Is it downstairs? Oh my fucking god <laughs> Wow What the fuck is this? Oh, ow, ow Hey, who was that? Who the fuck is that? Who'd you be? What are you doing in the school, you shady punk? Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You shoved, you shoved me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name, or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover. I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. Uh, I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. You sure? As if a robber would say they were one. <laughs> oh, he's right. What What do you want? A permit? Now you tell me who you are, if you're going to ask me. I'm D. <laughs> I graduated from this school, so I came to bring back some memories. He feels like a cool guy, doesn't he? D, that's your name? Not actually the oddest one I've heard, but... It's a nickname, dummy. You think I tell some shady guy my real name? <laughs> what a little brat. Brat. But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't mind me. Smell ya. <laughs> Smell ya. Are you for real? What the hell is his problem? Didn't he even apologize? He pisses me off. Yes, he does. Oh, yeah. Uh, so we are going uh, to where the fuck were we going actually? Uh, John, Ke do we have? A Is that where we're going? No, reference, reference, or reference key. That's where we're going, isn't it? Where's that? Janitor. We're not going in there. Infirmary. We've been there already. Is it on the like the first floor? What is this? Faculty. Oh, we've been in here, okay. So it's on the first floor. Then, I get... Wait. What is this? Uh, um, is this it? Have I missed it? I should look around some more. Maybe, well... Here it is. What the fuck? Unlock the reference room. Well, god damn it. What am I looking for here? They say the people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in similar circumstances. But humans are curious in that w that they can hide any outward appearance of goodwill or hatred, though they are two faced deep down. They can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may, in your heart, have affection for them. The improbable is not impossible. I never understood this f philosophy stuff. I wouldn't you you just dislike people you don't like. Well, I guess you have a point. Uh, is there anything else? A record of books checked checked in and out. Okay, that's it. Announcement of new arrivals and the like. Is this something? 
the shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and accompanied by staff taking any materials out is prohibited. But I guess an elevator for carrying books to the basement. There's no power, so it doesn't work. <sighs> Am I supposed to like... Look uh, through all of these. Is there something I'm missing in here? Because I can't see anything. Is something? Is, is it something with the fucking painting or something? George White, 76, 26, 1806, a signatory of the Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of America. Law for teaching the first class in juris, jurisprudence. It's attached to the wall, but the screw's a little loose. If I had the right tool, I could unscrew it. Well, I fucking have it, don't I? I have a screwdriver. Unscrew the screw holding the portrait. Yes, do it. There's a writing behind this. 1647? Is it a code for something? 1647, okay. Glad I took the screwdriver though, though I'm not sure it'll be useful again. 1647 okay remember that because I'm not gonna remember it and I don't even know where to fucking uh, Where to choose it? What was it 1647? Where am I using it? Lefty Lewis? Sup Lefty Lewis? Uh, oh, maybe I can use s s s s Crowbar and a hammer now because I don't need screwdriver anymore. I think uh, you 1647 it's not in here right no all right let's go up where is where are we gonna use it Ray Twain we already been there friends mod 1647 maybe it's this no all right I don't know who more we can go to code. Cindy Pearson. Is this it? No? Well, it's only like one more, isn't it? Oh, two maybe. Andrew. Andrew! John Keat. Oh, yeah, John Keat. We had his fucking key. 16. 47. Right? Yes! It contained the key to the lecture hallway. Oh, that's in the... Oh! oh. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, that scared me. What? What? Oh, no! <laughs> Why are you sitting here? <laughs> Back in the hotel. I, I thought I killed it. What am I supposed to do now? Damn it, I'll think about it later. Gotta run. Well, fucking run, the Please. Can I save? No, I can't. Uh, come here. That monster is in there. I'm not going. No. I don't. I... Uh, I don't know what to do. Can I use anything here? Crowbar? Uh, I mean, can I block the door in any way? Well, I'm gonna fuck. I mean, yes, I, I can't do anything there. I don't fucking know what to do. Okay, so I didn't think of this, but I actually have the fucking key to this room. Uh, is it this one? Yeah, lock the room. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I saw it right. Surely that'll keep it in. Yeah. Now I can put on my headphones again. But this is so bizarre. I mean, back at the hotel. And the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Well, maybe he took a fucking tech cab. Could it really be? Following me? Why? How? Damn it. This is making me nuts. Or am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating at this thing? Then again, it didn't. It did attack Sissy, so it 
can't be me, my imagina imagination, so it exists. Monster that it is. Can I go now? D. If that monster's here, I have to warn D. Tell him he's gotta get out of here. Get it, get it, gotta get that. Get it, get it, gotta get out, out, out. Get it, get it. Gotta get out, out from here, here. Where is D, that little bitch? Mm, lecture hallway. Yes. Oh, there's a lot of rooms in here. And there's a fucking another stair there. It's locked. The key of pain. I guess it's locked. Whoa, fuck. I'm almost. <laughs> that almost scared me a bit. What are you doing, D? Friends, specialties, and staff, I thank you for coming today. Today is for us the best day of our lives. Because today we'll leave the nest of our school and begin our climb to adulthood. Those who passed the bar exam, those who didn't, those becoming clerks or notaries, notaries or teachers, all of us will be graduating from this school and we owe a great debt to it. Though even if they manage to graduate, some of us may need to put a little more time into their studies. <laughs> Damn it, that's not funny at all. But these graduates have one thing in common. They're filled with hope for their future. They're ready to challenge what lies ahead. A toast to our dreams, to our yet unsure futures, and may we have God's grace. Beautiful. Day? How do you get into this lecture room? Well, wasn't the hallway locked? Eh, you forgot I'm a graduate here and know all the secret ways, dummy. Huh? Well, what are, what are you listening to? A tape? Yeah, from my graduation day. Man, has it really been three years? I was getting nostalgic for the place and even abandoned. It really hasn't changed. It's just like it was when I was taking classes. Studying was wearing me out, so I came here for a breather. It's nice to have places full of memories like this. Huh? You graduated, but you're still studying? Hi, lay off. Yeah, I couldn't pass the bar exam, so I'm cramming at home now. Alright. Next up's gonna be my sixth attempt. There were lots of great guys in my class, most of them passed it in one shot. Being a lawyer's been my dream since I was a kid, so I was so happy when I got accepted here. Felt, felt that I was one step closer to making it come true. The work was rough, and I just barely managed to graduate. I think it's my kind, helpful professors that did it. I'll pass next time for sure. I mean, it's my sixth time anymore, and I'll be way behind my classmates. Okay. Well, it's good to be motivated, but it's dangerous here. You should get out of here soon. Huh? Dangerous? What? I'm a cool guy. I don't do dangerous. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's sort of hard to explain. There's kind of a monster here. It'll attack you if it finds you. I thought you were just some weird old guy wandering an abandoned school, but... Damn! You really are nuts! <laughs> Seriously, a monster? Even little girls don't believe that stuff. You're being a total doofus. Do you enjoy making fun of people? And I don't think I'm much older than... <clears throat> <clears throat> don't quarrel me! Don't quarrel with me, alright? I'm a talented... I'm a talented, soon-to-be lawyer. You'd be no match for me. Sure. Ugh. Do what you want, but don't say I didn't warn you. Yeah, I will. Do what I like. Thanks. Like I need a shady punk like you telling me what to do around my... Alma... Alma matter? Alma meter? Alma, I don't know. Fuck you, D. Alright. David? Hey, Paul. I... I got in. 
What? Really? You got in to flight school? Ah, oh, that's crazy, David. I can't even do a handstand. <laughs> what? What did I? You can do whatever you put your mind to. Haha, <laughs> thanks. But it doesn't make me a pilot yet. Still have to pass the exam. Man, dude, you totally will be. And make sure to give me a ride. I love to fly above a city sometime. Paul, I'm not going to fly passenger planes. It's not that kind of school. Don't, s don't sweat details. I'm glad for you. You did good. Hey, I'll take you to lunch today. I don't know. Back then, I wasn't really thinking. I was just going wherever I wanted. I wonder if D is like that. I, I don't fucking know. Alright guys. Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here. Leave a like if you like. And I'll see you guys in the next part. Alright, see you guys. Bye.